a nurse who works at an ICE detention facility in Georgia has just contributed to a whistleblower complaint. She says that in her time working at this ICE detention facility, it's the uh, a detention center in Irwin County, Georgia, she says that immigrant women at that facility uh, have, have told her they have routinely been sent to a gynecologist who has performed unnecessary procedures on them, including hysterectomies. Quote, a detained immigrant told Project South that she talked to five different women detained at the Irwin County Detention Center between October and December 2019. Five different women between October, November, and December 2019, over that three-month period, five different women who'd had a hysterectomy done. When she talked to them about the surgery, the women, quote, reacted confused when explaining why they had one done. The detainee said, quote, when I met all these women who'd had the surgeries, I thought this was like an experimental concentration camp. It was like they're experimenting with our bodies. Remember when the right wing, well, not just the right wing, as Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez corrected me on Twitter today, got so up in arms when AOC called these ICE detention facilities often run by private institutions like LaSalle corporations in this instance, concentration camps. Now the whistleblower is saying, no, these are experimental concentration camps where we are removing reproductive organs from migrants who can't consent because of the language barrier. This should not be news to anybody. We've had eugenics in America. I mean, of course it's news, but I mean, it shouldn't be as surprising, I think, as it necessarily is, because when you read up on the history of this country. We have sterilized black and brown people and native people for decades. But now, apparently, in this private private prison, this was a practice that was being done. Like some sort of sick mad scientist. So a doctor, uh, or excuse me, a lawyer for two of these migrant women has confirmed that two hysterectomies were performed without their consent and knowledge, removing parts of their uterus. As a woman, I mean, the visceral reaction that you have to the story, I, I think, I can't be overstated. They were leaving after seeing this doctor with bruises, patients. So can we abolish ICE now? Can we abolish ICE now? And can this doctor be thrown in prison I want, I want a full investigation and this guy needs to be treated with harshness, seriously, by the law. Because this is some sort of sick practice that I, I'm struggling to find the words for clearly. The doctor, who three lawyers identified as Dr. Mahendra Amin, practicing in Douglas, Georgia, has continued to see women from the Irwin County Detention Center for the past several years despite complaints from his patients. Amin was the subject of a Justice Department investigation in 2015 for making false claims to Medicaid and Medicare. As a result, he and other doctors involved paid $525,000 in a civil settlement, according to the Justice Department. But yeah, he's qualified to work with ICE on migrants who don't have rights. The lawyers identified the doctor after a whistleblower complaint to the Inspector General for the Department of Homeland Security was filed by Don Wooten, who worked as a nurse inside the facility. She said in the complaint that detainees were not getting COVID-19 tests and other needed medical care. Wooten was demoted in July for a full, from a full-time nurse to as needed after missing work because she had coronavirus symptoms. She said she believes the demotion was in retaliation for raising coronavirus protocol concerns, according to the complaint, as a nurse. Okay. In her complaint, Wooten said some of her patients told her they were afraid to go to a doctor they called the uterus collector, according to the complaint. In an interview with NBC News, Wooten said, I had a detainee that asked me, she said, what is he doing, Miss Wooten, collecting all, our all of her uteruses? And I just looked at her puzzled because I didn't have an answer. Benjamin Asario, another lawyer representing women in the Irwin County facility, said two of his clients received hysterectomies that they believe may have been unnecessary. One of the women who was of childbearing age was told she needed to have a hysterectomy after Amin found ovarian cysts, Osario said. She was advised that they were cancerous, but her records indicate she was not given a biopsy to confirm the cancer, he said. In another case, he said the client was told she had stage four cervical cancer and would need a hysterectomy and chemotherapy. But after her hysterectomy, an oncologist in Charlotte said she did not have cancer, according to Osario. So multiple reasons that were given for a hysterectomy. 
and they didn't pan out. You know, this is a massive issue that goes much deeper. One, medical racism is a huge problem, not just in this country, but internationally, but especially in this country. There have been studies done that some doctors still believe black people have thicker skin than white people. Black people are less likely to get their pain being uh, taken seriously by doctors and physicians and nurses and EMTs. And black mothers die at a much higher rate when giving birth to children. So this also extends to Latina and to native populations as well. It's a massive problem. And of course here, this has to do with Latina migrants. Secondly, I'm reminded of a story I did a few weeks back about the Kenosha Sheriff who talked about how we should basically just lock up all these black people because they keep breathing and having kids. This is a mentality that's still embedded, very much so, in law enforcement and in institutions across the country. And ICE is super indicative of that very mentality. And thirdly, forced sterilization is embedded in America's history. Black, Native, Latina, Brown people in this country have been sterilized for years and years. It was backed by the Supreme Court in order to uh, eradicate feebleness. And for over 100 years, over 60,000 people in this country, minorities mostly, were sterilized. So forcibly not able to have children. That is so horrifying, it's hard to speak of. And this is a practice that we're doing in detention facilities in this country, privately run. Dystopian, horrific, barbaric, abolish ICE, do it now. We didn't have ICE for much of American history. We didn't have the Department of Homeland Security until after 9-11. These institutions are not that important. In fact, they're violating human rights on a daily basis. Off with their heads. The institutions, not anybody, obviously. Figuratively. End it.